Hello and welcome. I'm Nate 42 and in this episode we're going to be testing whether the anti-Z wobble uh, braces which are up here actually make a difference to your printing results. Before I was printing on the ANA A8, I printed off this. Uh, this was actually used on one of my previous tests when I did the uh, Polymaker um, Poly Light, I think it's called, PLA test. There was, a, there was obviously a little bit of ghosting uh, and that is to be expected with this printer because these two bars here, when going up and down, do kind of wobble a little bit uh, and that is what allows that to happen. Uh, also with the frame as well, the frame not being hugely sturdy also does sometimes account for that happening. But what I have done is I put these two little things in here and here and they're made out of uh, PETG, um, very high quality parts. <laughs> They printed very nicely and they fit the first time as well. Uh, I had to use a very slight brim, but yeah, they did actually print out uh, first time very nicely and I'd, I'd actually highly recommend you get them. Uh, I printed this out after I'd installed that and this is a better XYZ cube. So this XYZ cube here, although it does have issues, uh, which could be to do with the temperature and maybe the printer not really handling that type of temperature very well. It has printed around the X and the Y a lot better. The Z in both cases is perfectly fine and that is due to the fact that it's on the top of it. Um, so you can see the Z on there on both of these perfectly fine, perfectly good. In the different areas such as the, um, the Y here you can definitely see some ghosting around the Y uh, which is where it comes to a sudden stop and then goes down to do something else. Um, when it comes to that sudden stop, it jolts a little bit. And that jolt is noticed over many, many lines and many, many different types in the face. That is what's happened with that, and that's what's not happened with it after, which means it has improved the quality. And it's also visible on the X. You can tell on the blue, uh, PLA filament, there's more noticeable ghosting uh, than there is on the uh, white filament, which was after. That is pretty much all I wanted to show you today, uh, and the fact that it does actually seem to have made a bit of a difference for me. So if it has for you, or if it hasn't for you, let me know in the comment section below, we can talk about this. Um, if there's any other mods or other things that I should get for this printer to make it better, to print better, I really want to do them because <laughs> I want to make the quality for this printer as high as it can be. Don't forget to subscribe, let me think comments with us at Nifu42 and thanks for watching.